Joe Resnell with the front line with Joe and Joe. Once again, let us go into the breach. U.S. bishops urged the Senate to oppose equal rights amendment over concerns it will promote abortion and LGBT agenda. The bishops warned that the ERA, the Equal Rights Amendment, could require federal funding of abortion and lead to the imposition of radical LGBT policies. Lead to the radical imposition of radical LBG, LGBT policies? Where you, where you been? It's already happened. You see, the Catholics are always late to the game. We're always late to the game. When are the bishops going to make a stand formally and say this? If you are Catholic... You simply cannot vote for Democrats, not because of any type of political loyalty. It's because of their positions. They are radical and they embrace intrinsic evils like abortion. It's not even abortion anymore. It's infanticide and radical LGBTQ agendas, which are being pushed on Catholic people who go and send their kids to public school because they have no choice. They have no choice in the matter. That's the statement. Now, why isn't that statement made? Well, my view, the budget of the U.S. bishops is contingent upon federal funding, a large portion of it. One of the smartest moves the U.S. government ever made, they neutered the U.S. bishops. Because they give them money, which is earmarked for immigration. I'm all for immigration. But when you give people money, there's always strings attached. They should never have accepted that money. They should give it right back. In essence, that was the smartest thing the U.S. government ever did. They neutered the voice of the U.S. bishops. Once again, now they're talking. Too late, guys. You're behind the eight ball. Once again. This should have been said when Biden was running. All their cards were on the table. Nothing was said. How many Catholics voted for this man? How many Catholics in Biden's administration, including Joe Biden, Javier Becerra, who's in charge of health and human services, a Catholic? Nothing is said. And now you're worried. Now you're making a statement. Because basically, this could lead to the imposition of radical LGBT policies. Too late, guys. Already happened. You're behind the eight ball. It's time to give that money back and start speaking up. 